That should be enough Bloody Mary. Never underestimate the drinking ability of a Cornfellow fan. You think we need more? It's the first football game of the year. Freaks will be out in full force. God, is there anything worse than football season? Gang Green is a close second. You'd think they'd know better than to come into a bar like this. Cornfellow fans aren't really known for their thinking ability. <laughs> when do we have to open the doors? Actually, right now. Looks like there's already a line. And to do it if you're good. Ready as I'll ever be. So, uh, how do you think the Cornfellows will do this year? They're a crush. Top five all the way. Yeah, I think they got a chance. Say, uh, after the game, I'm having a few people over to my place. You're, you're more than welcome to come along. I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm Rock. That's cool and all, Rock, but I have my people with me. They can come too. I mean, we have plans. All right, no sweat. I just thought I'd throw it out there. All right, um, take it easy. What do you need? They'll take a beer. Okay. I also need a shot of whiskey. How about you give me a rum and coke, sir? I also need a punch. Now I'll have... Jesus, man, just tell me your whole fucking order at once. Excuse me? There goes your tip. Blow me. You wish, lady. What else can I get you? Nothing from you. I'm good. Fifteen dollars. Suck on this. God, I hope your team loses today. You know, I think uh, we got most of this dialogue written. I think we've got a lot of the backstory for the characters and the script down. I think it's about time we start holding auditions. What do you say? Uh, where are we going to hold the auditions? I was thinking right here. Here? Yeah. Have you asked permission to shoot in here yet? No, I, I haven't given him anything yet. Uh, I'd actually, I'd like to give Mike a rough draft so he can pass that on to the owner and all that. Why don't you just ask uh, Shannon? Oh, Shannon! Uh, <laughs> uh, to do that. Hey, you, you with us there, Max? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just. It, why do we have this meeting during the game again? I, I gotta work in a couple hours, man. I mean, like, you know the drill. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's just, I, I can't miss any of this. Well, there, there's gonna be other games this year, man. So not, good. Not this one. This is the first of the season, man. I've been waiting nine months for this. Woo! Smash my football! What? Damn it! Are you kidding me? Fuck you, liar! Get the fuck out of here! I like to think, uh, you know, what we're doing here is a lot more important than a fucking football game. How do you think Stanley Kubrick would have messed with, uh, with sports? Hmm. You know, fun fact actually about Stanley Kubrick is he used to have people record NFL games for him on VHS and then have that sent to him in England. What the fuck? That's a lie. Another fun fact, one of his Damn. favorite films of all time, White Men Can't Jump. You're full of shit, sir. <laughs> wow. shit up. He liked sports. They hated Wizard of Oz, though. Who 
Who could fucking blame it? Uh, John Waters like was. Well, the point though is, is that if the man who directed A Clockwork Orange watched sports once in a while, then I think that means I can too. I'm a Barry Lyndon man myself. Yeah, all right, come on. 2001 all the way, man. Seriously. No, no, nothing comes even close to Full Metal Jacket. It's like his worst, man. Labored, it doesn't know what it wants to be. Hello? Labored. The Shining, anyone? <clears throat> there we go. The Shining. The Shining was fucking yeah. awesome. Right? Thank you. How do you spell your last name? C-R-A-Z-I-N-G-S. Straight to the bottom. How many letters are in your last name? What? Count. How many letters are in your last name? Tell me. Um, seven. Nope. She can stay, but you have to go. Fuck you, lady. If she has to leave, I'm leaving too. No sweat off my balls. What did you say? Have you guys ever been into this bar when it wasn't a football game? I've never been in this bar before. Something tells me you never will be again. You're a bitch. I hope the corn fellows lose by a hundred. I'm gonna tell all of my friends to never yeah. come here. Good. It's like the slut bars next door. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Man, I hate this so much. Cornfellow fans have taken over our booth. Yeah, it's like you have to come to this bar like at least a hundred times a year to sit in that place. Agree. And it, it really is like a sad comment on the state of society because imagine if we could take all these these crazed people and all their energy and put it towards something productive, like what we could do for the planet. People go crazy over this shit. Ah! Meatheads are all the same. What'd you just say? Uh, excuse me? Something about fucking a meathead in the ass. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I heard you. Apologize. What? Apologize for disrespecting our sport. Look, look man, I'm not, I'm not looking for trouble. That's the problem with you pussy hipsters. You think you're all enlightened and above such things like football. Like it's somehow beneath you. But if anyone gets in your face, you don't know how to deal with it. If I kicked your ass right now, would you go out and learn how to fight? I, I don't believe in fighting. Of course you don't. Fucking pussy, man. Just keep your mouth shut next time. Okay. Pussy. What's that all about? Just some macho shit, I guess. I don't think I want to be here anymore. Yeah, let's bail. Do you need anything? Bring me a Bloody Mary with extra sausage. Sodium nitrates and other processed additives in sausage can increase the risk of bladder cancer by 30%. So? And you want extra sausage? Shit, yeah, I do. I just gave you information I'm relatively sure you didn't already know, and you're choosing to ignore it? <clears throat> this is America, sweetheart. We eat what we want to eat. Maybe you should go back to whatever little country it is you come from. from Michigan. Sausage. 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 Mason? 
Man, Clayton is calling some bullshit plays today. He knows Stevens can't make that throw. Shit. You watch football? Uh, yeah. Football's the shit. Yeah? And what have you seen today? Well, the O-line is giving a good push. But to keep fucking it up with plays like that or what you just saw in quick outs, they just need to give the rock to Anderson and let him pound it up the middle. Damn. And the defensive line, they're doing okay. But with Anthony out, they just can't fill the gaps. What are you doing after the game? Probably watch the next game. They got games all night. You want to party with us? <laughs> you couldn't handle me. She's right, guys. You don't want any part of it. Well, now I'm intrigued. Give us a chance. We can hang. Four us three, Mike. Seriously. Walk away while you can. Go have a Klondike bar. Watch the game. Whatever you gotta do, get out of here while you still can. No, no, no. Hell no, Mike. Porous three. Yeah, Mike. Porous three. Porous three. All right. Here's to mud in your eye. Three more, Mike. You got it. Hey, Rock. Where's the party at tonight? Um, one corn fellow punch, please. <laughs> What can I get you? Beer. Three bucks. Uh, hell no. We are not doing this today. I would like a Vulcan brandy, please. Seriously? Just get out. Are you deaf? Don't Vulcans have like big ears or something? Their ears are pointy, but I'm not a Vulcan. The door's over there. I'm a Betazoid. Can't you just cut me a break today, you fucking loser? Hey, you got a boyfriend? Do you? Hey, has the uh, carpet matched the drapes? I know you're still there. So I was wondering if okay. Yeah, that starts the year. Hey man, wins a win. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this place is a little weird. Um, hey, let's, let's go to Chubby's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Well, we made it through another one, which really wasn't that horrible. Uh, speak for yourself. Yeah, only 12 more weeks to go. This really might be the year that does me in. Hey, it pays the bills. Except Cornfellow fans don't tip worth shit. This is true. Well, here comes a regular. Restore the order, as they say. Never thought I'd be so happy to see those bums. Oh, I kind of got these two guys really fucked up. Better go check them. Uh, you're a better person than I am. I know that. <laughs> so, guys. Hey, Mike. Do you think you could call us a cab? <laughs> you messed with the bull. We learned our lesson, guys. Alright, I got a cap coming. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a touchdown one desperate defender, Dick Moffat, was chasing him, but he couldn't catch him. And Street ran desperately for the near quarter, went in standing up, Bob McKay and Charles Fire through getaway block on the 42-yard touchdown dash by Dave Street to try for extra points. They're going to go for two. They are not going to try for one. It's 14 to six. They're going to go for two. They're at the line of scrimmage on the three-yard line. Snap to three. Takes the handoff. He runs the option. He keeps. He dives for the end zone. He's there for two points.